Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. Let me first share with you this wonderful fruit tea that my good friend Marifa has given me. I have prepared this to be an iced tea in a very large metal tumbler that can retain cold. So I steeped three tea bags for about five minutes in a cup that's about half full of hot water. And then I transferred everything into this metal tumbler and I also added very cold water and then topped it off with ice cubes. This is very nice. It tastes and smells like a mix of a few different berries. And of course, I will cut off these tea bag labels later and I will paste them onto my memory journal. It is after five o'clock in the morning on a Sunday and it is still dark outside because there is a super typhoon coming in. Anyway, I also have to make my monthly calendar for May, so I thought I'd do it on camera. I am almost at the end of this notebook and I am a little bit excited to move back into rings. I have a video of that on my channel and I will link it down below. So I printed out this sheet, I cut it down to size, and then when I was about to glue them into place, I realized that uh, the notebook already bends. Well, I knew this weeks ago, but I kind of forgot. So what I did was I took uh, a different notebook, and then I took out the back cover of the current notebook from the slot on the notebook cover, and then I put that other notebook behind it so that I could have a relatively flat surface to work on. And this is how it looks now. It's it, it's much better and it kind of eases that bend. It straightens the entire notebook a little bit. And so that's how I was able to glue the pages for the monthly calendar on to the pages of the notebook. The washi tape that I decided to use are the remaining rolls that I have from this set. This contains details from some classical paintings. I will share the link to purchase this in the description box. I am planning to use up all of my remaining washi tapes at this point and not buy any new ones. So these two rolls that I picked out turned out not to be enough. So I picked out a third roll, which is not even a color match, but that's okay. I don't have much for May except, of course, my thesis, which is the priority, and also something major that I'm waiting a feedback on, but work on that is going to be short term, maybe about a week or so, and it might not happen in May anyway, but I wrote that down anyway. I also forgot to put a tab on this, and I'll show you later how I fixed that. And now let us start with the usual planning process for the next two weeks for April 9 to May 2, 2021. This is where I realized that I forgot to put a tab on the May calendar spread. So I simply peeled off the washi tape from that part, pasted the tab on and then put the washi tape back on. And then I also placed the tab for the incoming week and I folded the center um, sheet in half and drew the usual pencil lines. The washi tape I decided to use is this pretty blue one with the tiny concentric circles and foiled details. I have not really used much blue in my, my weekly planner pages and this is nice to use. And then I took out my pre-printed date headers and timestamps, cut them down to size and then pasted them onto the proper places. Next, I prepared the pages for the week after that. I put a tab on, I did the fold, and I did the pencil lines. As for the washi tape, remember these two ones that I have used previously? They actually came in a set of three washi tapes and this pink one is the third in the set. It's a kind of darker, more dusty pink, more of a rose color, and the arrows are gold foil, as you can see, not the holographic arrows on the other two. And after all the washi tape has been laid down, I also put on the pre-printed date headers and timestamps on this week. The next step is to open up my computer and check out who's celebrating what. And I wrote them down on the proper days. The ink that I am using here is Robert Oster Marine, which is inside a Pilot Metropolitan with a fine nib. 
On the week after that, the one with the pink washi tape, the ink that I used is Diamine Damson, which is also in a Pilot Metropolitan with a fine nib. And finally, now the actual planning can begin. I do have to make some major edits in my thesis proposal because now it's my thesis advisor calling the shots and he will be answerable for me from this point on. It used to be that it's my teacher from my research class who is giving me guidance and she's also functioning as my critic for this thesis, but close guidance during the actual writing of the entire thesis is not her job. That is the job of the thesis advisor, and the advisor has to see to it that I come up with a clean, strong point that is easily defensible, and he already started doing that, which is why I now have to make the revisions according to his advice. I also have some notebooks to make because I have decided to make notebooks again for the unplanned life, but my production schedule will be slightly different. I will only spend time on production for about two to three hours a day and spend the rest of the time on my thesis and the occasional YouTube video like this one. And I will request for payment from the customer only when I'm ready to start working on their order. I will also mail off notebook orders only one day a week because I am limiting the number of times I go out of the house because there is an increasing number of new COVID cases in my city. And on top of that, there is that incoming storm. And on Wednesday, we are scheduled to have an eight-hour power interruption in the entire city. I cannot make notebooks on that day because without the electric fans, my room is a little uncomfortable to be in and without my uh, light fixture, I, I cannot see. I also have a bunch of online purchases that will be delivered this coming week. Just very small things that I need which cost very little but which I don't want to physically go out and look for myself here. Ordering online is really just the safer option and the shipping cost on Shopee is already very small. But included in these purchases is a bunch of items for my new planner and I will certainly put up a haul video for you guys. I'm very excited about that. For the week after this coming week, I just have a couple of YouTube videos in mind but I didn't write anything much on the pages with the pink washi tape. But I have ordered a bunch of new books from a university press bookstore and I need to read through everything because my thesis advisor wants us to have empirical evidence and field notes and I agree completely. Filipino foreign workers have real actual stories to tell and they're not really being heard much because the government prefers to focus only on the statistical data without the humanitarian context. It's actually quite infuriating but adding empirical data and field notes onto my research will add another dimension to it and it will certainly make everything clearer and more grounded. So now finally I have my pages for the coming week right here and the pages for the week after that and I am all set. I actually took my time doing this plan with me. The curtains were open, cool wind was streaming through my windows while I sipped on my iced fruit tea. I was wearing a sweater so it was okay. The winds are here and the sky is completely gray. But several hours later, after I filmed this video, uh, the rain started. This is how it looked outside at around 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, life goes on and we do the best that we can. I hope you're all doing okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.